Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for joining us tonight for the second half of our doubleheader on WKMC. I'm Aaron Demansky, and joining me in the booth is Tyler Hodge. Coming up shortly, we'll have our national anthem being introduced right now by PA announcer Greg Sikavich. We'd like to thank you for tuning in tonight. Second half of our basketball doubleheader here at the Mount Carmel Area Gymnasium on WKMC 13. I'm Aaron Dabansky. Joining me is Tyler Hodge. Hodge tonight, Coach Lozicki in the Big Red come into the playoffs with a regular season record of 13 and 9. And they open up this evening against South Williamsport in the 8 9 play in game in District 4 AAA boys. Yeah, and the Mountains are coming in at 13 and 9, winning their last two over Midwest and Line Mountain. And the winner it is gets to play number one Loyal Sock Friday night. Just to recap at home, starters for South Williamsport, number two, Ben Manning, number four, Alex Nidig, number 10, Lee Habilar, 24, Radley Knapp, 32, Aaron Akers for the Big Red. 11, Cole Spears, 13, Pedro Feliciano, 14, Garrett Verano, 24, Julian Steller, and 35, Damon Maluski. Opening tip coming up. South Williamsport going to control. Mount Carmel's going to open up in our 2 3 zone. See if South Williamsport works to the inside. Maybe runs a corner, get a three here. Manning. Outside shot. Habilar hits the three early. 3 0 lead for the Mounties. South Williamsport's going to come out in a 1-3-1 zone. Zone defense in 
Mount Carmel just seen this a couple weeks ago. Rano controlling for the tornadoes over to Spears. Just underway here in the MCA Gymnasium. Stellar over to Spears. Back to Stellar, working that perimeter to Verano. This one, one, three, one, you're gonna have to flash high post, look to get the elbow, elbow jumper. Good, Spears good out good to penetration. Maluski. And Maluski matches the three. Three, three ball game early. Coach Zicki, you wanna see him get hot early, hit a couple threes, get the confidence going for him. There's something for was working the corner there. A guy man running baseline on this 2-3 zone for Coach Zicky. Habilar was controlling. He gets it back over to Manning. Manning back to Habilar. I think Gary Rano almost, almost had a steal. Driving with the shot. Habilar shot rims out. Rano rebound. Rano looking to push the ball up the court. Luciano out to Spears. Rano shot for three. No good. Maluski. Maluski snagging ball. it. Going up to the hoop. No good. Snags it again. Kicks out to Stellar. Over to Verano. Garrett with the shot. Rims out. 24. Radley Knapp grabbing it for the Mounties. Manning controlling top of the key. Works it over to Nidig. Inside. Akers hits it. A little foul line jumper. I got to the middle of the 2 3 zone. Hit a foul line jumper. South Wayne Sports sticking in the 1 3 1 zone. Mount well, Carmel's going to look to flash high post there. There it is. Stellar. Stellar good call cut. for and it. And he got fouled. And one. Shot is good. Great play. Just mentioned it last possession. Just mentioned it last possession. That's where you want to get in this 1 3 1 zone. You want to get to the high post. Stellar saw the opening flash to it. Shot the ball. Got hit from the back. And going to the foul line to shoot it. And one. Yeah, Spears was looking for some help there, and Julian pitter pattered his feet like he's calling for it. Spears heard it, got it to him. Bucket's good. Stellar to the stripe here for one. And Saquon Roberts checks in for South Williams Sport quick off the bench. I don't know if the viewers got to see it at home, but when they announced the players, he did a little backflip. So definitely some athleticism in this, this guy. Akers rebounded it. And Roberts getting it over to Manning. Nidig with the shot, no good. Right in, gets the offensive rebound for South Williamsport, number three. Great steal by Spears, and he's off and running. Spears to the hoop, not and the bucket is good. Not many guys are going to catch him on the basketball court, let alone the football coast. field or the, or the track. Not coast. many guys are going to catch him. He gets an open space, he's gone. Cole definitely showcasing his speed there. Coach Zicky was calling for him to step out of bounds on the line there. Took a couple seconds, but the ref saw it and got it in Mount Carmel's possession. Stellar inbounding, Verano gonna control. Working it up for the Tornadoes. There's the flash again by, by Garrett. That's where it's gonna be here. Now look for Cole Spears to flash here. Maluski inside. Verano, out to Maluski. Ooh, we had the open shot. Stellar three-point shot, hits Bang. it. Stellar hot early. Quick five points for the senior guard, Julian Stellar. 10-5 lead for the Tornadoes, 4-10 left in the first. Mounties. Mount yeah. Carmel just didn't get back on defense there, and they gave it a busy layup. Aaron Akers with the basket, cutting the lead to three, 10-7. We have a fast-paced game early here in the first. Tornadoes working it back down. Stellar controlling. Inside, Pedro with the shot. No good. Stellar knocks it out. Maluski controlling. Over to Julian Stellar. Corner three off the rim. Roberts with the rebound. Quickly moving up the court. To Manning. Good defensive possession. Might have got away with a walk. Havilar. He got away with a whistle. They definitely got away with a walk there, and then they're going to get a foul on Mount Carmel underneath. That foul's gonna be on Maluski. He's gonna be his first of the night. South Wayne Sports sets up in a box set here. Now Carmel stays in a man to man. Akers, shot, it is good. He's hot early as well. 
Number 32, two more for him. Tornado's one point lead, 320 left in the first quarter, 10 to nine, MCA. Not doing sports switch to the two three zone when they went to the bench, but they're stellar flashing again. Flash to the middle of the high post, Maluski great look. Spears. Great pass by Damon Maluski out there. Found Cole Spears, cut to the basket. South Williamsport working it up. Roberts. Over to Manning. Good. Trying to slow up a little bit. Havilar back to Manning. Nidick. Inside look. Akers shot no good. Tornadoes have it. Stellar. Up to Maluski. Inside. Feliciano to the hoop. And they go to the foul line. Great cut. Beat the guy to the basket. Beat the guy to the block. And he's going to go to the foul line and shoot two. Early on, Mount Carmel has some nice cuts on his defense. They, Julian Stellar got to the high post on a nice cut. Cole Spears cut into the basket, got a nice layup, and then Pedro, Pedro Feliciano with a nice cut there. He's going to go to the foul line and shoot two. Feliciano sinking the first. One more coming up for number 13. Pedro Feliciano, 74% foul shooter on, on the year for Coach Ozicki in the Big Red. And he sinks two of them. 14 to 9. Coach Ozicki's going to come out with a little full court press here, but. Roberts dribbles right through it. Manning Blake. with the shot, whistle. Blake getting back. I, and that's gonna be on Pedro Feliciano. I think he thought he got the block, but he had the body with him. And he, South Tony Sports gonna go to the foul line to shoot two. Quick scoring though here in the first quarter. Number two, Ben Manning gonna go to the stripe. Coach, Wa Coach, Coach Lizick going to his bench quick here to get Wasileski and Schultz into the game. 25-15 checking in for the Big Red. You get Pedro and Julian Stellar, quick break. Manning going to take his second shot shortly. I, I don't believe them two seniors will sit the full two minutes here in the first quarter. I think they'll be back in. Manning hits it. 14 to 10. Just over two minutes in the first. Spears bringing it up the floor for the Red Tornadoes. Wasileski is Coach Ozicki's three-point threat. It's going to be interesting to see if they get him open for a three. Verano, three-point shot, no good. Rebound, South Williamsport, Havilar. Driving, shooting, and sinking. Cutting that lead to two. Two points for number 10, Lee Havilar. Tornado's bringing it right back up. Keeping the pace. Spears controlling. Coach Ozicki calling out a play. Spears driving, shooting. Two Chris rims missed. out. Schultz rebound, no good. Schultz rebound, off the rim again. Spears rebound, and a putback. Nice effort by those two underneath. Three offensive rebounds from Mount Carmel on that possession. They finally make the last one, and great effort by Spears and Schultz to get three off offensive rebounds in one possession. Manning, over to Havilar, to Roberts. Mount Carmel staying in there, two, three. Manning, driving, shooting, and whistle. And a foul on Schultz. That's gonna be Schultz first of the night. It's going to be an interesting matchup to see Coach Ozicki switch some defenses up. He started, started in a 2-3, they switched up to a little man, and then they came out in a full court press. South Wing Sport dribbled right up the court and got an easy basket, so then Coach Ozicki got out of that and got back to the 2-3 zone. Manning hits in the free throw number two for the Mounties. Here, here come Feliciano and Stellar back in. I mentioned they weren't, they weren't going to sit for the full two minutes. I don't even think they sat 30 seconds. Number two, Matt Belichick also on the floor for the Tornadoes. And Manning lining up for his second shot. No good, Stellar grabbing it. Inside the Blitchick. Swat away by Havilar for the Mounties. Mount Carmel underneath. Gonna go with a little three high set. Wachileski gonna inbound. Gonna get Wash they were, that's what they were trying, I mentioned they were trying to get Wachileski at three, and that's, that's where they were going. Back, back to the inbounder there to get him a corner three. Wash inbounding to Stellar. Julian. Taking some looks over to Blitchick. Over to Schultz. Wash. Oh, good take. Wash had one more dribble, he might have a layup there. 
Pedro driving. Please shout the shot. No good. Roberts grabs that rebound. It was a good take by Pedro. Just missed the layup. Might have been some contact. Got to fight through. But unfortunately, it's Schultz is going to pick up his second foul on the rebound there. Two fouls in the first for number 15. We're going to get a double dose of the Belichicks here early in the first quarter for Coach Lezicki. One and two on the floor. Robert's going to inbound for the Mounties. Manning. Bring it up the floor. Over to Nidig. Back to Manning. Roberts. Top of the key. Number three. Driving. Shot by Roberts. And it falls. Cutting that lead to one. 16-15. Big red leading. 20 seconds left in the first. Stellar. To Feliciano. He's going to drive and shoot. And it rims out. Belichick, nice effort. Wasileski at the putback, but Roberts hitting it out of bounds. 4.5 left here in the first. Trano's going to have it. Wasileski going to inbound. They're going to have the last, last second shot here from Mount Carmel. Feliciano, corner. Belichick gets the shot off. It is no good. And the one, your score, Mount Carmel area, Red Trano 16. South Williamsport, Mounties 15. At this time, we'd like to thank our first half sponsor for the boys game, Shimox Furniture at 900 Chestnut Street in Coltmont. They are celebrating 106 years of their family owned business. They feature quality furniture and bedding for your home. And they are soon to be expanding to Mount Carmel. So if you're in the market for some furniture, make sure to check out Shimox at 900 Chestnut Street in Coltmont. Thanks again for sponsoring. Very, very fast paced first quarter there, Aaron. It's 16 to 15, like you mentioned. Uh, little. A little aggressive there, Mount Carmel. They picked up four fouls in the first. Coach Lizzie like can't be too happy with that. Some of his players. Fortunately, there's a bench point I picked up too. But I think if you're Mount Carmel, try to pressure him a little bit, get back into that full court press. I mean, they just did hustle back on a one possession that allowed, allowed them to get an easy basket. But I think if you're Coach Lizzie like after a make, they're getting some good. Mount Carmel's getting some great looks at the basket. Just ain't getting a roll. But I think Coach Lizzie like can tell them to keep being aggressive, keep attacking. The fouls will come. They'll get to the foul line, try to shoot some foul shots. Early one point lead for the Tornadoes after one. We mentioned this earlier. The winner of this one gets Loyal Sock Friday night in Loyal Sock. Tornado's going to have it. Brano inbound to start the second quarter. Spear is going to control. Mount Carmel gets their starters back on the court to start the second quarter. Full set of starters back in. Brano pushing. Maluski to Brano. Shot. Just rims out. Rebound, Brano. Scrum underneath Loose for it. Kicks out the stellar three-point shot. Verano getting under rebound shot and falls. Good take there by Verano. Another, another, another three offensive rebounds for Mount Carmel. They're fighting hard underneath the boards. You know, they're not the tallest kids out there, but they have a lot of heart and are fighting for that offensive rebound like we mentioned in the girls game. You know, there are a lot of seniors out there. They don't want to see their season end, so they're playing hard. Whistle on the South Williamsport possession. This foul is going to be on Pedro. Feliciano from Mount Carmel, number 13. It's going to be his second foul here to start in the early second quarter. Mount Carmel. Manning going to inbounds. Mount Carmel switch state. They're going a little man-to-man -man here now. They're getting out of that 2-3. They're going to go man. Manning, three-point shot. Buries it. The tie to game. Big three for number two, Ben Manning. That was a big Ben shot. 18-18. Seven now, minutes left till half. Now South Williams Sports switches to a man-to-man. -man. Manning's still hot. He picks it off. Taking it to the hoop. Swat away by Verano. Great Some defense great by action Verano. here. Great hustle by Verano. Didn't give up on the play. Got a great block. Roberts, Abelard going to drive. Oh, I think he might have walked. Abelard, shot, no good. Swings it out. Manning, three-point shot. No good. Feliciano saves it. Maluski. Maluski diving after it there. William, South Williamsport's going to have possession. Some great action here early in the second. Fast pace, up and down the court. Both teams fighting for the offensive rebounds. Manning going to control it for Southside. Pablar, shot. Hits it. South Williamsport shooting the lights out a little early here. They have a 20-18 lead. 
Cup Williams Court's getting some open looks on off ball screens. The guys are guys are popping and getting open. Mount Carmel's got to close out a little better. Help defense. They got to push. Yep. We have a whistle. Brown got pushed going to the basket on the shot. Going to shoot two. A little stoppage of play there. There might be some water or moisture on the court there. They're looking for a towel. Yeah, Coach Lazicki searching for one at the moment. Seems so that's seems why the break in action is because of moisture on the floor. If you're watching at home. Yeah, I was gonna say that's what the consensus seems to be. There's some some moisture on the floor. I mean, hey, it's fast-paced game, so a lot of guys are sweating. You know, I think I think a South Williamsport guy went down on the last possession, so it might have been a leftover from when he fell. Uh, Chase Blitchick's going to bring the mop out. Yeah, he's saving the day. He it's found it somewhere. Okay, there it is. Oh, there take it back. Luke Blessing also coming onto the floor to do some damage control here. You know, with a doubleheader game. Yeah, it's going to happen. Like I said, I mentioned it. I think a South Williamsport player fell on the last possession down, so it might have been some leftover from his back or his head. Yeah, we've got to give a, a big shout-out to Luke Blessing there. Helping out the squad, getting the floor ready. Unfortunately, tore his ACL at the end of football season, so he had to miss the miss the full season. He's another three-point uh, threat for Coach Lazicki and the Big Red. He'll be happy to get him back next year and have another another score. Brano been wa waiting patiently here at the line, and the junior guard sinks his first. Yeah, Brano shooting 72 percent from the free throw line, so you're, sh you're shooting that well in a long season. You know. You can He'll wait as long as he wants, and he'll still knock him down. Randall for a second. Hits it. And then both of the Blitzer checking back in for the big red. South Williamsport wasting no time, bringing it right up the floor. They're going to go to a little, little trap defense here from Mount Carmel. They're going to try and trap the ball. Manning to Habilar. Here comes the trap. Habilar to Roberts. Shifting, shooting, no good. Gets his own rebound. Taking a look, tipped by Belichick. Havlar controls it. He's driving outside to Harris, who's new into the game, number zero, Verano. Great hustle there by Verano from Al Carmel. Just knocked it off the ref. The ref was out of bounds, so it's going to stay South Louisiana sports ball. Manning going to inbound for Southside. Roberts. Manning controlling. Here comes a trap. Dribbles out of it. Manning shooting. Nice he runner. Hits it. 22 20 lead for the Mounties. 5 24 remaining until half. Trainers look to slow it up just a little bit. Come up the court. Randall over to Spears. South Williams Sports in man-to-man -man defense now. Got out of that 2-3. Started in 1-3-1, one, one, got Malus to 2-3. Maluski hits it. Three-point shot for number 35. That's his second three tonight. Kind of like in the first game, like Jenna, Jenna Pizzoli had two quick threes and cooled off a little bit, but let's see if Coach Lickie can keep Maluski hot. Roberts looking to make something happen. Harris tried to Good work hands. it inside. Verano snags it. Great hands there by Mount Carmel. Garib steal. bringing it up the floor. Behind the back dribble, nice. To Belichick with the shot. Off the rim. Havilar grabbing it for the Mounties. They're coming back. Up the floor. Had the trap there again. I think Coach Lickie staying in that trap defense. Roberts over here at the key. Mount Carmel's Noah Shimko set the check in for Mount Carmel. Get some size in there for Coach Lickie. Inside. Radley Knapp with the basket, number 24. 24-23. South Williamsport, Rano. Looking for something, trying to make something happen here for the Tornadoes over to Spears. Tornadoes slowing it up a little bit a on little this little ISO set. Maluski to the hoop, kicks it out to Verano. Shot, rims out. Manning grabbing it, whistle. Uh, 
Enough foul is going to be on Matt Belichick. That's going to be his first of the night. Yeah, the big 5-0 Shimko is into the lineup. Noah entering for the Red Tornadoes, as you made mention to earlier, Hodge. Mel Carmel's going to go to, now they're going to switch to a 1-3-1 one, one zone defense with Noah Shimko into the game. Manning over to Abelard. He walked. It's interesting to see now if Mount Carmel goes inside to Noah Shimko here with the size on offense. Definitely has the size advantage. See if they work to go inside for him. Stellar. Here it comes. Spears. Here it comes. Inside. Great Polichik. pass. I thought, he, I thought he might have turned and had the layup, but he made a great pass and got the easy basket. Two points for number two, Matt Belichick. Here comes a trap. Mount Carmel bench wanted a walk. Unfortunately, didn't get it for them. Manning. Abelard. Nidig with the shot, no good. Roberts grabbing it for South Williamsport. He takes the three-point shot, and that rims out. Cole Spears grabbing it the for the Red Tornadoes. The presence there by Noah Shimko in that last possession altered that shot by Roberts, and there he's done. Shimko. And we have a whistle off of the Shimko shot. Noah Shimko's going to go to the foul line and shoot two. Just by, just the presence of Noah Shimko being there in that last possession altered, altered Roberts' shot, made him shoot an unorthodox shot, and... Now Cole Spears got the rebound. Up Mount Carmel went. Now no Robert. looking to increase the tornado lead. Have the opportunity. First shot rims out. Verano checking back in. Shimko going to have one more shot from the strike. Roberts grabs that missed free throw. 25-24, 2.56 left until half. South Williamsport working it up the floor. Manning to Roberts, he's controlling it. Belichick on him. Brano coming over to help. Whistle. Mount Carmel's gonna get a block call. I believe it's gonna be one and one for South Williamsport. Here with 2.46 left in the second. That's gonna be Belichick's second for Mount Carmel. Wasileski checking back in for the Red Tornadoes. Roberts is going to head to the line for the bonus situation, one on one. Rims out, Shimko rebound, Tornadoes have it. Shimko, when he's that big, he makes those rebounds look easy. He blocked, had a great block, so there was no, no one near him. Good cut by Steller. Julian back to Belichick, to Wasileski with the shot. Just off the rim, Roberts, another rebound for Southside. He gets it over to Manning, number two. Just South Williams Sport area, like you wanna do what Mount Carmel did, flash to the middle in this one, three, one zone. Havilar three point shot, and it is good. Three points for number 10, Lee Havilar. South Williamsport leading 27-25. If you get the ball moving on a 1-3-1 zone, or you're going to get those corner shots, or you're going to get the high post shots. There was a three for South Williamsport. Roberts trying to save it. Possession's going to stay. It's going to be on the side for Mount Carmel. Andrew going to inbound inside to Shimko. He walked. I think he might have had the layup, but he took, pivoted too many times. Might have had the layup, but when it came back to his left left hand there, he might have had the layup. South Williamsport going to inbound. They have a two-point lead. 153 remaining until half. Manning over to Roberts. Oh, Carl switched back to man-to-man. -man. Snap to Roberts. For South Williamsport, you want to go back to Havilar. He's, he has a hot hand here in the second quarter from Manning shot, rims out. Roberts and Shimko there, but Stellar ends up with the rebound. He's bringing it up the floor. 2 4. Trying to make some moves over to Maluski. Verano. South Williamsport, South Williamsport is playing some very good defense. Hand in the face, they're hustling back. Not giving Mount Carmel too many open looks here in the second quarter. Verano inside to Shimko. 
double team came there. Whistle with a jump ball. South Dalian Sport smartly doubled. Now Shimko giving up some size. Shimko might have had Maluski on the opposite end. South Dalian Sport just got a few hands on and got a knock away and got a tie up. Jump ball. Number 11, Cole Spears checking back in for the big red. South Dalian Sport inbounding. Nighting. Going to control it. Habilar. Comes a high ball screen. Havilar shoots. There's the presence by Shimko. Shimko's going to run the court now. Stellar works it over. Havilar picking it off. He's running coast to coast to the hoop. Shoots it and finishes. Nice move by number 10, Lee Havilar. Increased that South Williamsport lead 29 25. 40 seconds left till half. Maluski throws it out to Stellar. Shoots that three. Just, Just short. short off the rim. Havilar grabbing that rebound. Havilar having a huge second quarter here for South Dalian Sport. He has it right now for the Mounties and gets it over to Nidic. I believe they're going to hold for the last shot. 29-25 lead for South Dalian Sport. They want to hold for this last shot, take the halftime lead. Havilar drives, shoots it. It is no good. It's going to be Mount Carmel's possession. 10 seconds here to cut into the lead. Stellar going to inbound. Verano under 10 till half. Spears to the hoop. Shot. And it's good. Great drive. Cole Spears to end the first half with two points, cutting that lead to two. Your score at halftime. South Williamsport Mounties 29. Mount Carmel Area Red Tornadoes 27. We once again would like to thank our first half sponsor, Shimox Furniture at 900 Chestnut Street in Coltmont. They are celebrating 106 years of their family-owned business selling furniture. They feel, feature quality items and bedding for your home, and they are going to be soon expanding to Mount Carmel. Fixture in our community, both in Coltmont and soon to be in Mount Carmel Borough as well. Thank you, Shimox.
I'd like to welcome everybody back to WKMC 13. Just prior to our second half, we had the Red Tornadoes trailing the South Williamsport Mounties 29-27 here at the MCA Gymnasium in the 3A District 4 playing game. 8-9 seed winner gets Loyal Sock in the next round. Hodge, you want to break down some stats from the first half? Yep, Mount, for South, South Williamsport, the Mounties, Lee Havilar had the hot hand there in the first half. He has 12 points to lead South Williamsport. And for Mount Carmel, a couple different guys getting in the action, but Cole Spears leading the team with eight points, followed by Damon Lewski with six. I think, I think if you're uh, Coach Ozicki here for Mount Carmel, you want to try to get your senior Pedro Feliciano started. He ended the, ended the first half with two points. I know you mentioned a tough defeat to Bloomsburg last, last time out, but he actually had 18 points for Mount Carmel, led the team in, led the team in points. If you're Mount Carmel, you want to see him get started and try to get him some quick, easy baskets to start the second half here. Brano going to inbound to start. MCA with possession to start the second half. South Dolina Sports goes back to that 1-3-1 that they played in the first half. Stellar kicking it out to Maluski. There's the flash. Stellar shot. Rims out. Greg Roberts. Size and ability to jump affected that shot by... Julian Stellar. Havilar to Manning. Roberts. Manning going to grab it. Over to Roberts. Mount Carmel comes out in a 2-3 zone. Switch it, switch it up a little bit in the first half, but this is their mainstay of their defense. Havilar over to Manning. Back to Havilar. Number 10 looking to make something happen. He gets dishes it to Manning. Corner. Neidig, back to Manning, three-point shot, no good. good. Spears, rebound. Great box out by Cole Spears, he gets the rebound, he looks to push. Kicks it up to Maluski. South Wayne Sport in a 1-3-1. One, one. Here comes the flash by Verano. Shot, Verano, Just no good. Hit it. Havilar grabbing the rebound for South Wayne Sport. That's the look, though, you want if you're a coach Lizicki and Mount Carmel. They're playing that 1-3-1, one, one. that's where it's open, high post. Roberts, three-point shot, no good. Feliciano grabbing it for the big red. Stellar working it up to Maluski. Oh, if Verano would have cut there, he might have had a layup at the basket. Back to Verano and Spears. Stellar. Manning tried to break on it, but Spears controlling it. MCA retains possession. Stellar. Over by the tornado text on the floor. Spears trying to look yeah, inside. Kick, kick on ball. him. Number four, Nida kicked it. Trano's going to retain possession. 6-11 remaining in the third quarter. Southside clinging to a two-point victory. Two-point lead. Excuse me. Maluski ties it up. Great and that takes. lead is gone. It's now 29-29. Well, Carmel hustles back. So does South Williams. Sport they'll push it up the court. Akers tried to go under the basket. No good. MCA has it. Oh, great look. Feliciano. Great no look. Great, great look off by, by uh, Maluski there to get uh, Pedro Feliciano started back in the action here. Two points, Feliciano. MCA now leading 31-29, 5 minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the third. We have a timeout. We'd like to thank our second half sponsor, Mount Carmel Area Education Association. That is the teachers' union here at MCA. And we'd like to thank the teachers for stepping up and helping sponsor their student athletes tonight in the game. A quick quick uh, full time out there by South Williamsport. I think he's, he saw the full court press I, after Mount Carmel got the lead. He wants to talk about it just in case. Uh, Mount, Mount Carmel looks to keep attacking on high post on a 1-3-1 zone. I, I know they got they got Stellar to flash early in the, in the third quarter here and then they got Verano to flash. Get that high post there in a 1-3-1 one, one, and also look opposite like like Damon Maluski did to Pedro Feliciano for the basket which forced South Williamsport to call their first time out. I believe it's going to be a side out of bounds here where the timeout was called for South Florida Sports. So it's going to be interesting to see if Coach Zicki will drop the press or if he's just going to drop back into that 2 3 zone and force South Florida Sports to force it inside or take an outside shot. Mount Carmel standing around almost here at half court. Looks like they're going to almost go man to man. Looks like they're going to match up in a man to man defense. Nidic going to inbound for the Mounties. They do go man to man. Gets it out to Manning. Malusi's going to play him on defense. Manning bringing it up over half court. Gets it to Havilar. Back to Manning. 
Feliciano, nice steal for the Tornadoes. Gets to Stellar. Tornado's gonna make some moves. Maluski to the hoop. Shot and is good. Great take by the junior guard there, Damon Maluski. 33-29, Red Tornadoes. Mount Carmel gets in that press. Havilar. To Nidig. Now Mount Carmel got to that press, dropped back into a 2-3 zone. Manning, commanding. Over to Havilar. And running baseline. Trying to get a quick hitter in the baseline. Or short corner if you're South Lane Sport. Manning again. Trying to take a look. Kicks it over. There's the corner. Nidig. Good ball fake. Manning to Havilar. He's driving with the shot. No good. No Hat box hits. out. No box out from Mount Carmel. Uh, Havilar's going to go to the foul line for two, but Mount Carmel had an opportunity at the, bo at, the, at the ball there. They just didn't box out Havilar, and he got to the basket, and he didn't go to the foul line to shoot two. The foul's going to be on Maluski. It's going to be his second foul of the night. This is the guy that got hot for South Williams Sport in the second, second quarter. See if he can get it going again if you're South Williams Sport. First shot rims out for Havilar. He has one more coming up. Second one, also no good. Maluski grabbing it. Tornadoes will have it. Four-point lead, 33-29. Might have been a little fatigued in those foul shots. He was playing very hard, doing a lot of the scoring for South Williams Sport. Might have been a little fatigued that led to those missed foul shots. Nice dish by Verano to flee shot. Just didn't fall there for the shot. Southside going to have it. It's going to be knocked off by Pedro Feliciano. Manning, inbounding, Havilar. Manning, top of the key, shoots, no good. Roberts rebound, put back, is good. Cuts that lead, 2-2, 33-31, just over four minutes in the third. Tornadoes with a two-point lead. A little miscue there on Mount Carmel on a defense, and another guy wide open for a three. Fortunately for Mount Carmel, they make it, but they got the offensive board. Maluski to the hoop, and it's good. Quick with the ball off the dribble. He's beating the guy off the dribble, getting to the basket for layups. 3-5, getting us a 35, it's 35-31. South Williamsport back up the floor, Roberts. South Williamsport working the perimeter. Shot by Akers. Over the backboard. Mount Carmel's gonna get possession. Verano gonna inbound to Spears. South Williams Sport got out at 1-3-1. They went to a man-to-man -man defense now. This worked a little bit the second, second quarter for them. Got them that lead taken to the half. Going hot to Maluski inside. Just rims out. Akers grabs it. Roberts pushing it up to Nidig. Back to Roberts. Wait, oh, Roberts shot. Off the rim, no good. He's chasing it. Push call on Spears. They're running a foul on Spears, yep. Almost, they both almost thought they had a steal there by... Julian Steller and Garrett Verano. Unfortunately, the ball stayed for South Williamsport and kept the possession, got a foul on Cole Spears. Gonna be his first foul of the night. Avalar gonna inbound for South Williamsport. He gets it in to Nidig. Not a backcourt call. <laughs> Some of the fans behind us wanted the backcourt. That's, that's not backcourt when the ball gets knocked out of bounds in the front court. Manning. Trying to find something. Avalar to Roberts. Nidig to Havilar. Three point shot for number 10. It falls. Three points for Lee Avalar. Cuts the lead to one, 35 34, 233 remaining in the third. Tornado still ahead. Spears dishes it to Feliciano and is good for two points. Nice look from Spears to Feliciano that, with that finish. That play there for Spears is a little iso, try to get him going to the basket, get a layup with a quick dribble. A beautiful look to find Pedro cutting to the basket for the layup. Avalor to Roberts for Southside. Manning over to Nidig. They have to skip here to Avalor if they want it. Or opted not to take it. Avalor was 
Give him a little too much room over here. They go to him now. Habler has it. Back to Manning. If you're in this 2-3, if you're Garrett Verano, you got to hustle out there and close out on him. Jump ball call. Maluski on a spot for the Red Tornadoes. Yeah, if you're Mount Carmel sitting in this 2-3, he's on the way to have a lot of shooting the ball. You really got to close out on him where it's either Garrett Verano or not a Wasilewski checked in or Julian Stellar that's in there. You really got to close out on him, get out on the ball, get a hands in his face, don't give him an easy shot. 2-5, Wasilewski, 15 Schultz onto the floor for the Big Red. South Williamsport going to inbound under the hoop. Havilar going to toss it in shortly. Little little maintenance there for uh, Garrett Verano on the, on the arm brace that he had on. Neidig over to Havilar. Inside. Back to Havilar. Mount Carmel, they're still sitting at 2-3 zone. Manning, Neidig, Havilar, three-point shot. There it is. Hits it again. Big baskets for Lee Havilar. Ties it up at 37 apiece. Red Tornadoes looking to answer. Spears. Maluski. Nice shot. move. Beautiful Good. move by Dana Maluski. Two the point lead for the Tornadoes, 39 37. The kid is doing it all here in the third quarter. Damon Maluski is playing a very third, good third quarter. Havilar, three point shot, no good. Roberts, scrum for the ball. Ooh. Spears controls it. Maluski has it, kicks it up to Wasileski. Schultz, and a whistle. Verano's arm got cut underneath on a scrum there for a loose ball. A little bit. Oh. Hey, Hodge, we said earlier, it's the playoffs. It's, it's getting yeah, wild and it, crazy. A little physical play there. Garrett, uh, not dirty. Uh, Garrett Verano, just there were two guys dying for the ball. Unfortunately, his bad arm and his elbow got caught underneath the player. And hey, both teams giving their all. It is the playoffs. It's win or go home. Honestly, I think he just might have just might have knocked his brace off. I think he's okay. It just it looked a little awkward. Nope. Schultz to stripe. First one does not fall. Garrett Verano ain't gonna sit long for Mount Carmel, Coach Wazicki. He might get a quick timeout here on a make, and he'll get him back in the game. Second one is out, Spears, nice rebound, put back. Just rims out, Roberts. Gets it for South Williamsport, he's going. Whistle. Good, good foul by Stellar there to stop the ball. South Williamsport had a couple guys coming down on the offensive end there, they might have got an easy lay, but it's a good foul to stop the ball. Give him a side out of bounds. But it's only gonna be Stellar's first foul tonight. Chase Belichick into the ball game for the Big Red. We're picking up the pace here again, Aaron. Slowed down there for a little bit to start the third, but we're, we're back to full speed. Oh, yeah. South Williamsport has it. Here's Manning. If you're South Williamsport, you keep looking to go to Havilar. Manning shot. No good. W Maluski rebound. Good, good defense there by Schultz. Getting get hand up, not fouling. He's playing with two fouls, so that's good, good defensive play there by Schultz. Stellar. To Maluski. They're going to the guy. Shoot. No good. Five seconds. Here's see if South Williams for host one up here. Under five. Havilar launches it. Ooh, and that was a close one. Just rims out for Havilar at the end of the third quarter. Mount Carmel area. Two point lead at the end of three. 39 to 37. At this quarter break. On screen, you probably do see a South Williams for cheerleaders. But once again, we would like to thank our second half sponsor, the Mount Carmel Area Education Association, which is the teachers union here at Mount Carmel Area. Really like to thank the teachers for stepping up and helping sponsor this evening. Over a hundred of them in the Educational Association sponsoring their student athletes tonight in our playoff matchup. Yeah, I know we mentioned Havilar almost had that half court heave go, but hey, when you are when you have the hot hand and you see shots going down for you, that one will fall. And fortunately for Coach Wazicki and Mount Carmel, it, it rim, rimmed out and you know, they hold the lead here 39-37. It's going to be a very interesting fourth quarter here in the first round of district playoff. Oh yeah, if Havilar hits that money ball, South Williamsport has a one point lead right now. So fortunate for the Big Red that it did rim out. Like, like I mentioned, hey, he's been hitting a lot of threes, so he, he had confidence shooting that thinking it was going to go in and in and around. Mount, Mount Carmel is going to maintain or get possession to come out here to start the fourth quarter. And Garrett Verano checks right back into the game for Mount Carmel. And it should be a good one. This game came as advertised, their 8-9 matchup here in District 4. 
Morano going to inbound. South Carolina Sports going to go man to man here. And our last quarter is underway. Stellar going to control for the Tornadoes. Hands off to Verano. Back to Julian. A little motion offense here. Screen away. Cut through. To Pedro. Back to Stellar. Your coach was like, I think you give Damon Maluski a quick minute, extra minute break and get him back into the game. He was your hot hand there in the third quarter. Verano, three point shot. Boom. Nice shot there by Garrett Verano. Increases the lead to five, 42 37. Error and pass there. I think, I think Garrett Verano wanted it to be their possession. I think he threw it away, but tip ball, it's going to stay uh, South Wales Sports possession. Abelar, I don't think anybody in the gym liked that call. <laughs> over to Roberts. You got to know where Havilar is if you're Mount Carmel. Dishes it. Nap, and there is a whistle. And we have a true playoff atmosphere. One quarter left. These teams are battling it out. That foul is going to be on 15 for Mount Carmel. It's going to be Schultz's third. Like I mentioned before that possession, before the foul, I said if you're Mount Carmel, you're still sitting at two three zone. If you're Garrett Verano and Julian Stiller up top, you have to know where Havilar is on the floor. Knock it down shots. First free throw does not fall for Knapp. He has another one coming up. There he is, Hodge. Maluski coming back in along with Spears into the lineup for the Red Tornadoes. Both of them having a great night tonight for the Big Red. Nap hits the second, cuts the lead to four, 42-38. Just over seven minutes left in your ballgame. South Florida Sports staying in their man-to-man. -man. Spears is quick off the dribble. Little handoff there to Spears up top. See the Spears driving, trying to dish it and do the whistle. Hand check away, away from the basket. Going to get a hand check. Mount Carmel's position underneath there. Going to start off here in a three high set. I look to go back to the inbound here. Gav Verano just hit that last three. Watch, watch Cole Spears pop and get the pass and try to get it back to Gav Verano. Ooh, Verano to Spears. Around Boom. There's your Oak Street connection. Verano to Spears for a big bucket. 44 38. Tornadoes lead. Mount Carmel run that play earlier. Spears dropped back and hit Gav Verano in the corner. That time, I think they knew it was coming. Cole Spears went to the basket and got a nice layup. Manning has it for South Williamsport. He's driving. Kicks over to nice Roberts. Look. Roberts finishes. Beautiful Cuts look. the lead to four. Right back up the floor for the Tornado Spears. I can see Cole Spears going Driving, the shooting. Just rims out the front. Schultz trying to snag it. Red Tornado's going to retain possession. Schultz with a good eye there. He knew they tipped it. Refs agreed. Gymnasium is getting rowdy. Comes the same play again. Maluski to the hoop, shoots it, it is good. And one. It's gonna be a block and foul on Havilar. Beautiful take there by Maluski. Playing huge tonight for Coach Lazicki and Mount Carmel. Great drive to the basket. Between Maluski and Cole Spears, they're quick when they put the ball on the floor and they get by you quick. He's got to capitalize, making the laps. And Damon did that possession. Maluski to the stripe. He hits it. Tornado's lead is now seven. Huge possession there by Mount Carmel. South Williamsport. Manning shoots. No good. Rebound. Verano. Yep. They like to run here. Up to Feliciano. He walked. Happy feet there. He got too too happy. He saw the open. He saw the open three. Didn't take it, then wanted to dribble to the basket, just walked before he put the ball on the floor. Mount Carmel's gonna come out in a full court press. Still try to keep the pressure up on South Williams Sport. Don't give him any easy looks. He's gotta hustle back on defense if you're Mount Carmel. Harris gonna bring it up the floor. Kicks it up to Akers. Back to Harris. Manning. Good hands. Quick hands there by Cole Spears, got the knock away. Here's South Louisport trailing by seven now. You got to go back to your hot hand and have a lot here. Like, 
See him drop a play if you're South Lone East Fork, get him an open shot, get him going to the basket. Manning, here it comes. Avalar, no good, you called it Hodge. Harris, that's rebound. A, that's a good look though for South Lone East Fork. You go to your hot hand, he just, just missed. Roberts, over to Manning, back to Roberts. Dishes it, Harris. Boom, Manning, follow up, whistle. They're gonna get a foul on Schultz, that's gonna be his fourth. He's, on, he's almost like the bruiser tonight. He comes in and has, has some hard fouls. Playing tough tonight for the Red Tornadoes. Manning gonna head to the stripe. Sinks the first. Julian checks back into the game for Mount Carmel. Get Garrett Verano a quick break. And Manning sinks the second, cutting the lead to 5, 47, 42, 5, 15 remaining in the ball game. Coach Spears bringing it up the floor. Coach Zicky's calling that ISO out again. They're gonna try to get Cole Spears going to the basket. Look for Pedro to cut. Spears out to Maluski. Satik might be setting in now for both teams. Maluski to Stellar. Under five minutes. Stellar out to Pedro. Feliciano for three. Just rims out. And they're gonna foul on Stellar. Trying to get for trying to get a jump ball. He just got too much arm instead of ball. Coach Zicky staying in the full court press, trying to force South Lane Sport into something. Where the turnover or a bad shot. Up to Roberts. Roberts shot. No good. Maluski rebound. Timeout, Mount Carmel area. Coach Zicky is going to get a 30 second timeout there. Draw something up here out of the timeout. I think Coach Lizicki's more of giving his guys a little 30 second rest here. Draw something up here, get get to a set. South South Williamsport comes out under man to man. I think you gotta go stick with Maluski. Guy's guy has a hot hand. I think you stick with him, try to draw something up, getting him to go to the basket or have Cole Spears drive and kick to Dave Maluski. South Williamsport, all they're saying this time out is we need stops. We gotta get stops to capitalize. They're getting to the basket there. Roberts just had a, had a nice look, just, just missed. But I think they'd more likely like to go to Havel a little bit more here. But I, like I mentioned, I think the peak's kicking in for both teams here. Definitely. We have a couple scores. Final score in District 4, Lords defeated Meadowbrook Christian 61-55. to And first, Southern Columbia in boys basketball leading Catton 12-8. to Coach Wytovich and Coach Langton have the Tigers on the right track tonight. Stellar going to inbound to Verano. South Lone Sport came out of that timeout. They stayed, stayed, they stayed in the man to man. Verano, three point shot. Just off. Just rims out. Akers grabs it. I don't think Coach Lazicki wanted a three on that possession. I think he wanted to run an offense, try to stall a little bit. Nidig, three point shot for South Williamsport. He hits it, cuts the lead to two. It's 47 45. Four minutes and four seconds remaining in the ball game. Yeah, I don't think Coach Lazicki was too happy on that possession. I think he wanted to run an offense through. Try to get an easy look at the basket. I mean, Gary Brown was the hot, hottest three-point shooter on the team. He was wide open. I, I don't blame him for taking that shot. Garrett trying to find something. Gets there. to Maluski. Mount Carmel gets into the triple screen offense. Screen away. See if he can get a slip to the basket. There comes Stellar screen. Spears working that perimeter. Pedro Feliciano has to be careful with his screen here. He's moving a little bit. Might get called with it. Spears driving, dishing, Pedro, foul. I think, fortunately for Mount Carmel, Coach Ozicki, I think Pedro Feliciano got away with a couple moving screens there. He's just throwing a shoulder. In district playoffs, they'll, they'll call that quick. Pedro's going to go to the foul line and shoot two. Two for number 13. Senior taking his first. 
sinks it. Increases the lead to three, 48-45. One more for Pedro from the strike. Second one falls, four point lead, 49-45, triple threes on the clock. Roberts, to Neidig, Manning, Havilar in the corner, driving, shot to the basket, no good, Feliciano, rebound, grabs it. Good rebound there by Pedro. Havilar missed the shot, but he was following his board. Pedro just had a good box out. Carmel staying at triple screen. Serrano. To Stellar, working the perimeter, Spears. Back to Maluski. Tornado's in no hurry. Serrano to Spears. To Julian. Nice little sneak pass to Spears there in the Feliciano. Oh, Carmel, good ball moving here. And they get the foul. Like I mentioned earlier about Malu Maluski and Sp Spears putting the ball on the floor quick and getting by the guy. That's just what Gavin Randall did. He put the ball on the floor quick and the guy had no choice but to foul him. Stellar going to inbound to Verano. Havilar guarding him. Garrett bringing up over half court. Oh, over to Spears. South Wayne Sports playing aggressive defense. They're going to have a backdoor opportunity if they want to take it. Maluski. Whistle. They get a walk call underneath. Thought maybe he was going to get a block or a charge. And, and, Malus and Maluski's, Maluski's down. We're going to have a timeout for an injury. Hopefully he's okay. Maluski being attended to on the floor. Stoppage in play. Can't really tell that maybe it rolled an ankle. I mean, it looked like it was a scrum underneath the basket. He, you know, he was going hard to the basket, hopefully to get a block call. Unfortunately, called the called the walk on him. He might have rolled his ankle going down, or someone might have fell on top of it. Very tough kid. I'm sure he'll bounce back. But trainer Swaldi is working on that lower foot ankle area right now. He's the high scorer for Mount Comer right now with 17 points. So if you're Coach Zicky, you hope, hope everything's okay and he can get back in there for you. Maluski to his feet. That's nice to see. Number 35 going to be helped off. Hopefully everything is all right. Luke Blessing back out on the court, wiping the court down for the Big Red. It's going to be South Williams Sports possession coming out of the injury timeout. Manning an inbound. Mel Carmel gets in there. 2-2-1 two, two, press. Jacob Schultz checked in for Damon Maluski. Roberts to Manning. Mel Carmel drops. Now they get back into their 2-3. Over to Roberts. Neidig. Back to Manning. Roberts. Shot. Oh good. Schultz grabbing it. Tornado's going to control. 151 left. Ferrano. I think Coach Zicky's calling back out to get into that triple screen offense. Tornadoes have a four point lead. Minute 39. Good and defense there by Habilar, knocking away on Verano. South Williamsport going to control. Habilar trying to make things happen. We have a whistle. It's going to be a foul on the floor. It's going to be on Garrett Verano, and they're going to shoot a one and one because it's a 17 foul from Mount Carmel. Pablo are going to head to the stripe. Dante might have got a tie up, but 
tough to see with their backs to us. And referee called the foul. It's going to be a one and one for Havilar in South Williamsport. Coach Lezik, you're reminding his players to box out here on the one and one. Yeah, you would hate to see on a miss with the lead and then for them to get an easy putback. Havilar sinks the first, 49 46. 131 left. He's going to get a second. Tabular sinks the second. They get a timeout. South Williams for after the make. They cut the lead to two. 49-47. 131 left. One more time, we'd like to thank our second half sponsor, the Mount Carmel Area Education Association, which is the teachers union at Mount Carmel Area, supporting their student athletes this evening and sponsoring the game and doing many great things throughout the day and school year here at MCA. So thank you teachers for doing that and sponsoring tonight. Full time out there by South Williamsport. I think they might want to, 49-47, trailing by two. I think they might want to draw up to get into a full court press here. Uh, with only a minute 30, Coach Lezicki and Mount Carmel has been running, you know, a little triple screen offense, trying to take some time off the clock. Um, I think Coach Lezicki will probably try to get back into that, depending on how South Williamsport comes out and plays it. But if you're South Williamsport, you're going to come out and pressure the ball, try to get a steal with a minute 31 left, trailing by two. Going to come down to the wire. Playing game. Moving on is on the line. Winner go home. Eight versus nine. Winner gets Loyal Sock Friday night. 7.30 at Sock. Well, we're in for an interesting minute 31 here. 49-47 lead for Mount Carmel. South Williams Sports gonna almost going to have to come out and press. They can't let Mount Carmel sit in that triple screen offense and screen away and get an easy look. And South Williams Sport does. They're going to come out and it's going to be a man-to-man -man man -man press. Stellar. Inbounds of Spears. Roberts. And the basket falls. He's going to get an add one. Roberts ties it up. He's going to have a foul line to shoot one and try to take the lead. South Williamsport erupting at that quick momentum. I think if you're Coach Zicky, you might want to get a timeout here. I think he, he, saw the, he saw what the full court press was, man to man. Unfortunately, Mount Carmel threw it away there, and he got the foul in the end one. Shot no good. Feliciano gets it. Tie ball game, 49-49, one minute, 20 seconds remaining. We're going to that ISO offense for Spears again. Spears to the hoop and connects. Great take by Cole Spears. Strong longhorning it to the hoop. Two point lead for the Big Red. You gotta know where Havilar is if you're Mount Carmel. Can't give up a three pointer. Gotta know where he is. Neidig to Manning, Havilar. Havilar shot, no good. South Williamsport rebound, Neidig to Manning. Mount Carmel wants to reset here on defense. They're a little bit of scrum after that missed shot. They reset here, got to get a stop for Mount Carmel. Manning back to Havilar. Just under 40 seconds, Manning. Manning dishes to Havilar. Good switch off by Colin Julian. You have to know where Havilar is. Manning South over Williamsport to Neidig. Timeout. Timeout, timeout, South Williamsport. S saw the coach running up the sidelines there to get a timeout. He didn't want to, he didn't want to force a shot up there with 29 seconds. This gym is electric right now. We have under 30 seconds in the game. Mount Carmel area clinging to a two-point lead, 51-49 over the Mounties of South Williamsport. Going to come down to the wire. Yeah. You got to think if you're if you're a coach from South Williamsport, you come out, you're drawing up a play here for Havilar to get to the basket. Either get to the basket or take a three. Like, uh, Coach Lezicki had the last possession down. He had Cole Spears in isolation with Pedro Feliciano in the corner. If the layup's not there, it's usually a kick out to Pedro for a three-point opportunity. I think the coach from South Williams Sports might be drawing that up right now for his guys, for uh, for Havilar. And I mean, Robert Roberts has been dominant on the boards here in the second half, too, so I think you want you want him crashing the boards trying to get an easy putback. But, it, but if you're, like you mentioned it this whole Fourth quarter. If you're Mount Carmel, you have to know where number 10 is for South Williamsport. Havilar is. His ability to shoot the three pointer and get to the basket has to be a major concern coming here with 29 seconds left in the game. Both teams are ready. South going to inbound. Havilar to Manning. 
Moves they over to Roberts. They almost didn't cover him and left him open. Knightig back to Roberts. 20 seconds. Okay. Abelar. Abelar. Kicks out to Knightig. Three point shot. No good. Rebound. Roberts to the hoop. Sinks it. 51 51. Just under seven seconds. Okay. Remaining in the game. They just, just mentioned it before they came out there. He said Roberts has been dominating on the boards, and there he was to get the putback for South Williams Court. Plenty of time, though, if your coach was looking at Mount Carmel here. 6.9 seconds showing on the clock. Plenty of time for Mount Carmel to draw something up, and they don't have to force anything up the court. You have plenty of time to dribble and get to an offensive set. You don't have to force anything and have a, have a silly turnover and give South Williams Sport the possession for the last shot. Especially if your coach is looking, you, you want to hold for the last shot. You don't want to give any, any opportunity for South, South Williams Sport and Habilard, Habilard to throw up a half court shot. Officials gave him three more tenths. It's going to be 7.2 seconds remaining. That's even more if you're Coach Lizicki. You, you, you like that even more because you have enough time to dribble the ball off the court, get an offensive set, either get to the basket with Cole Spears or have uh, Pedro Feliciano sit in the corner and knock down a three. Both teams still huddled up, getting final instructions from their coaches. But I think if you're Coach, coach Lizicki, you come out here and you run that little isolation play with uh, Garrett Verano, or uh, Cole Spears, they get to the basket all night. They're quick with their, they're too quick with the dribble for South Williamsport. They're getting, they're getting to the basket with ease. Uh, you never want to, you never want to put the game in the referee's hands. So make sure you go to the basket hard and make a layup if you're Mount Carmel. MCA breaking the hole first. Coach Lazicki sending out his troops, and here come the South Williamsport Mounties. 51-51. It's a tie ball game. Red Tornadoes have it. Well there. Buckle up. Stellar going to inbound. To Spears. Cole taking it. Driving. Whistle. They're going to get a foul. It's going to be South Williamsport's 16th foul. So Mount Carmel's not shooting one-on-one -on -one yet. That's a smart play by South Williamsport. And it's going to be uh, out of bounds underneath for Mount Carmel. And I think Coach Lizicki's already signaled for a timeout. Taking the, the timeout. I think he signaled for the timeout there before the official signal who the foul was on the, on the court. They're going to get Big Noah Shimko in here in the post. Team's going to huddle up again. 3.2 seconds remaining, 51-51. I think if you're, uh, I just saw Noah Shimko check into the game there. I think if you're Coach Lizicki, you're drawing something up to get him the ball in the post. Just turn and put it up. And win the game. Both teams playing for the next round. Yeah. Winner moves on to the quarterfinals playing Loyal Sock on Friday. And both teams won it bad. This game was electric all evening. 51-51, 3 3.2 left. Now, South Williams Sport, they, they picked up a foul there. So that was their 16th foul. So they can't foul here and give Mount Carmel an opportunity to one-on-one on the foul line to win the game. For South Williams Sport, you just got to play good straight-up defense. Like I mentioned, Noah Shimko's checking into the game for Coach Lizicki and Mount Carmel. Look to sit, see if they can get him something inside on the post and just put the, put the ball up and get the fall. MCA breaking the huddle first. They're ready. Mount Carmel already came out, they're ready. They already get in their set. They're not wait they're, they weren't waiting for South Williams Sport. Lizick has them ready, here come the Mounties. They're gonna come in a little too high set here with Pedro and Shimko. Watch Shimko to cut into the middle or go into the basket here. Stellar gonna inbound. Here's your ball game. Feliciano Nailed sinks it. it. Pedro Feliciano. Pedro. I think, I think they're going to give them time. I, th I think they're going to give them time. Big time clutch shot for Pedro Feliciano to give the Tornadoes the lead. Scoreboard is reading all zeros. Officials are talking about it. I believe there's no replay. So this is going to be an official conversation. The clock doesn't stop after the ball goes through. So unless they got a timeout, that's the only way they could have stopped the clock. The ball doesn't stop as the, the ball... Uh, Clock doesn't stop as the ball goes through the hoop. They're going to give him 1.3. Uh, officials reset the clock to 1.3 seconds. Ice in your veins shot from number 13, Pedro Feliciano, to give Coach Lozicki and Tornadoes a two-point lead, 53-51. 1.3 left. Mounties are going to have one more shot, see if they could tie or win. It was great play design there by Coach Zicki. He had Shimko going to the basket, he had his two shooters going to the corner, and they left Pedro Feliciano in the high post, and he knocked the shot down. He must, 
coach from South Williams Sport must have been on the ref right there to call a timeout right away because like I mentioned, the, the clock doesn't stop as the ball goes through the hoop. So the only way he could stop is if he called the, yeah, the, call, he called the timeout. So he must have been right on the official to get the timeout quick. Uh, there we go again. If you're Mount Carmel, you have to know where number 10 Havilar is. And he almost, he almost nailed that half quarter at the halftime. So he has range from there. He definitely does, Hodge. We saw it, and that's a great call. Might be looking for him here. South Williamsport has a little, little chess match here. Coach looking to call timeout after they come out, came out and got set up. This is a little chess match here. Coach Lizzie came out, saw what they got set up in. Now he's going to sub Stellar back in. Teams huddling up. Mount Carmel area, two point lead, 1.3 left. And this game was a treat as both games were this evening. Doubleheader at MCA Gym. It'll be interesting to see what if South Bloom Sports going to stay with the same set that they came out and if they're going to adjust after Coach Lizicki got to see it and talk about it. If you're Mount Carmel, you have 18 fouls, so you cannot foul at all to stop the ball. If you get beat, you can foul and put them on the foul line to shoot one on one. But Manning going to inbound 1.3 left. You have to know where number 10 is, Havilar. Two point lead for the Tornadoes. Here we go. They're trying to go to him. Let's hit a couple screens for him. Manning to Havilar. Launches it. Shot is no good. Your final score Mount Carmel area, Red Tornadoes 53. South Williamsport Mounties 51. Great game by both teams. The Red Tornadoes with a two point victory are going to move on in the Class 3A District 4 basketball playoffs. Their next opponent will be the number one seed, Loyal Sock Lancers. Game date and time are already set Friday, February 25th at 7.30 at Loyal Sock. We'd like to wish the South Williamsport Mounties a safe trip back to the Williamsport area. Really played their hearts out tonight. Their season is going to end at 13 and 10. And one more time, we would like to thank our game sponsors here on WKMC. Shimok's Furniture at 900 Chestnut Street in Coltmont, celebrating 106 years of their family-owned business. They feature quality furniture and bedding for your home. And they are going to be soon expanding to Mount Carmel. And we also would like to thank the Mount Carmel Area Education Association. Teachers Union here at Mount Carmel Area for sponsoring tonight's game. Our crew, Gary Tresker, Dave McPhee, Alyssa Tresker, Sam Zatney, Hannah Forspring, Lucas Lubinsky, Dominic Tamborelli, Jalen Gonzalez. Doing a great job all season and tonight for the doubleheader. Hodge, you're going to break down some stats for us, and I'll come back to wrap it up. Yeah, for Mount Carmel, Dan Maluski played a great second half for Mount Carmel. Unfortunately, it looked like he went down with an ankle injury and couldn't return, but ended with 17 points. Also, the, the man of the hour there, Pedro Feliciano, ended up with 10 in the game winner. For uh, South Williamsport, Havilar, 20 points. He was the big scorer for, for uh, South Williamsport and played with a lot of heart. And, you know, it, he had a, another opportunity. He had a three-point shot there to win the game. And fortunately for Mount Carmel, it wasn't close. But, you know, he, these guys played hard. It was a hard-fought game. 53-51 final here, Aaron. And, you know, it was a you know, great, great two nights or great two games here and one night for Mount Carmel. One more time, your final score. Mount Carmel area red train was 53 South Williamsport Mounties 51. The Red Tornadoes move on in the district playoffs, as do the girls move on in their district playoffs. Double win for the Big Red tonight. It is a great night to be a Red Tornado. This is Aaron Demansky for Tyler Hodge, signing off on WKMC.